Okay, you're looking at something different today. This is one of my native Australian beehives. And uh, it's come time to propagate them. So what we have is a box, which was the beehive. And what I've done is I've taken the entrance from that box and I put it on another box. So this is their mark, a bit like our street sign with our street number on it. There they are. Not knowing what's going on. Trying to get into the apartment. And what I've done is, at the back here, you can just see one now, making his way up the tube. I've connected the two boxes together. This one's empty, this one's full. So this one's been sitting here for over a year, and it's very active, so now it's come time to put an empty one on and what will happen is these boxes continually have little baby queens and they hatch all the time and uh, they fly off or they go and mate they find some rest live or they get killed and it's a continual thing and what will happen is these workers in this one like this worker here will prepare this box they'll clean it up seal up all the little holes It'll take a while, a month, two months, three months, and um, basically what they'll do is they'll seal it up, prepare it, start putting reserves in there, and that's that includes pollen, propolis, wax, resins, start building up, and then when a queen rears and has mated, it'll nest up in there and they'll actually block this tube and uh, free themselves in this box if I don't get to it first. I'm a bit of a mess here at the moment we've just had a storm but um, I'll explain to you what's happened so mind the trees everywhere so this log that I've got here that's the entrance just up here you may not be able to see it but there's a a lot of bees there you probably can't they're just poking their head just inside there and that's the original entrance and what it was is I've put a, a, a pipe fitting into it this box was brimming it literally had no room for bees in it and uh, I attached this hose to that hole and drew it all the way down and put it onto this empty box. That was around 10 weeks ago. Yesterday I came along and uh, you may be able to see in there but there's a heap of eggs and all the way through here is uh, this is really well sealed up now and there's an activity in there. So there's a queen laying and there's workers building. This was an infected hive that died and I left it for a few months and it cleaned itself out and then I just attached it back in around October this year. So plenty of activity and I thought I was doing the right thing yesterday by detaching it um, up, up here and what there was, there was still an entrance hole here, but their entrance was here. And it turns out that they'd actually already blocked this off. So they'd separated these two hives. If you look in, in that hose there, it's clear, clear. And then you can see it's full. So they've filled it up with sticks and whatever. So they've actually blocked the two hives off before I got to it. So here I was thinking I had to do all the work, but uh, they'd already done it for me, so that's a free hive.
hopefully it, it stays and uh, builds up from there. I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to leave it as is. And the bees will transgress, I'd say, and help each other out. I'm hoping. And I've done it. Uh, I really need to clean this backyard, but I've done it with uh, a few other hives just today. I've joined this one up and uh, three more. So a uh, bit of work, but uh, you can see all the workers are starting to come back now and they're all starting to build up at this entrance. They don't know where their home is. So I've put that piece on there. That's actually the end of a corking gun. So that works out really well for bees. These bees are stingless bees. They don't have a sting at all. And they just look like little flies. And I'm just going around doing it with all my hives today. So I've got this hive to do. And uh, this one here I've had going for nearly a year now and it was a very weak hive to begin with so I don't really expect much. And uh, this is one of my observation hives so you can actually see inside. But uh, the, this hive isn't very strong so I don't expect anything to happen.